Have you been using Gemini lately? If so, you might not know that Google is saving all of your conversations. Today, I'll show you how to delete that chat history and more importantly, how to stop Google from saving it in the first place. Good afternoon, everyone. Google's Gemini AI Assistant has been surprisingly good at answering some complex questions. But what many people aren't aware of is that Google is saving all of your Gemini conversations by default. They use this data to train the AI, monitor for safety, and process your feedback. So while I'm happy with its performance, I'm personally not a fan of this data being saved on a server somewhere. And today, I can show you how to take back control of your privacy with Gemini. To begin, I want to show you how to go in and delete the chat history data that you've had with Google Gemini. This chat history is tied to your Google account, so it won't matter where you're interacting with Gemini. This applies everywhere. And we're going to start by first bringing up the Google My Activity page. This is a central hub that Google offers to help you quickly and easily find all of the data Google has been saving about you. Many people use this as a reference for finding a website they saw or checking up on their location history. And all of it can be deleted and configured from here. And I'll be sure to include this link down in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment here so that it's easy for everyone to find. So, from your My Activity page, we're first going to tap on the hamburger menu icon in the top left corner here. Then we're going to dive into the Other Activity section by tapping on that option. Now, this is the page where you want to begin to look for the link about your Gemini Apps activity. We scroll down a little bit from within the other activity section, keep scrolling, and you should find one labeled Gemini Apps Activity. And you're going to want to tap on this link to open it up. You'll notice that this page opens up in a new tab so that you don't lose your place. And right at the top, you can see that Google is indeed saving your interactions with its AI assistant. You can see the actual questions that you've been asking here. And it won't matter if you've used Gemini through its normal chat window, its live conversational feature, or even with smart speakers that use Gemini instead of Google Assistant. Either way, you're going to see all of your questions and commands listed here. If you want, we can tap on the X next to one of them to manually delete that single entry. Or you can look up here for the delete button. Tap it. And then you'll be asked if you want to delete your Gemini data for the last hour, for the last day, for a custom time range, or just all the time. If you're not a fan of Gemini logging this information at all, I'll turn your attention back to this Gemini Apps activity page that we were just at. But instead of deleting the actual saved data that has been collected, you can tap on the Turn Off button that you see up here at the top. This will actually allow you to disable Gemini's ability to save and store your activity history. And it also gives you a secondary option to turn it off and delete all of your data at the same time. It won't matter how you choose to delete this data. Once it has been removed from Google servers, it won't be showing up while you or someone else is looking through your account. Turning this off can go a long way to keeping your data safe and secure while still having access to and leveraging Google's digital AI assistant, Gemini. Even though Google says they are only keeping this data for a maximum of 72 hours, 
I've heard that they still hold on to it for longer, just anonymized, so even it won't be tied to your account. But that saved data is still going to be used by Google to train Gemini and other future large language models that they decide to work on. We've already went through something similar with Google Photos when the company began to offer unlimited hosting for your images only to use that data for training its OCR technology. And then they pulled the rug out from under us after we got used to using the service to save all of our memories. So I would rather not contribute to something like this again. While others may choose to disable this logging option or delete their activity for privacy related concerns, no matter the reason, take advantage of this feature while it's available. And be sure to share this video with your friends and family members so they can do the same. Now, as always, feel free to use the comment section down below if you have any questions about today's video. Just please remember to give this a like and subscribe to the channel for more Android tips like this.